What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here, bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 here on Aviator Games. You guys, last time we left off, I got Cassandra pregnant again, and I think this is going to be our last wave of kids, period. So if we have twins, or if we only have one, this is it for our kids. Uh, so basically, you guys, today, we are going to be working with Marshall and Julia on getting their childhood aspiration goals. Like, as you can see, Marshall wants to do his extra credit work, and he wants to get to know Julia a little bit more, and meet someone new. So you guys told me to start doing a lot of that, so I think that's what we're going to start to do. But before we get into this episode, you guys, make sure you slap that like button, Lemonheads. Last time we didn't hit our 2,000 like goal, that's why there was no episode yesterday, so make sure you slap that like button. Let's go for 1,750 likes on this episode, and I'll have another episode of The Sims 4 for you guys tomorrow. And before we get into the episode, I would like to once again mention that I have those limited edition Aviator Games shirts available still. The link is down below in the description. Uh, we've already sold like 45 shirts, so if you want to get them, there's only six days left, so make sure you head on over there and check them out. But okay, let's get started. So we're going to start with Marshall and get his aspirations, because Julia's not quite at an a grade level yet so she needs a few more like uh, skill points and she should be able to get her a probably within a couple of days but right now Marshall has been a straight-a student he's been a straight-a student for quite a while so we're gonna work on his aspirations so what he wants to do is do his extra credit homework so that's what we're gonna have him do right now finish that extra credit before school and then get to know Julia let's see um where is the get to know I think it's in friendly let's see where is it get to know get to know there it is. Get to know Julia. He's got he's got to understand his sister a little bit better, I guess. Okay, so he got that one complete. He's almost done with his extra credit. Meeting someone new. I guess we can invite a friend over. Be friendly with Julia. Oh wait, does he have to go to school? Does she leave for school? Wait, where did Julia go? Where did she go? <laughs> oh, she's on the computer. I'm like, what? Okay, wait. Where is she? Oh, she's on this computer. Okay. So be friendly with Julia. Let's go um enthuse about candy. I think that counts as being friendly, right? No? Yeah, it does. Okay. Become energized. Okay, let's do this quickly before he has school. Let's take a brisk shower. Okay, I know you have to go to grade school. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Don't worry. We'll do it. We'll get him to grade school. But we have to take this energized shower really quick to get him energized. We're really trying to get their aspirations up. And energized. Okay, Marshall, you have to go to school now, though. Otherwise, you're going to lose your grade point average, and we can't have that. Okay, perfect. Now let's check in on Cassandra. So Cassandra is pregnant, like I said, and she needs only one more friend to get promoted at work. So right now, we're going to see kind of who's a close friend with her and who we can work on. Uh, this Allison girl has been a pain in the butt, but we'll, we'll try with Allison, uh, see if she wants to come over. Uh, we'll be right over. Oh, wow. Usually she, uh, avoids us. So I'm pretty surprised she's gonna come over. Okay, so let's, um, share big news that we're pregnant. That's awesome. And brighten her day a little bit. Th these are good interactions. Hopefully she likes these. Uh, let's in, uh, no, not enthuse about guitar, because I don't know if she's interested in that. So let's go to friendly. Let's discuss interests. Let's kind of find out what she's interested in. That's how you make friends. You share each other's interests. Let's give her a hug. And then maybe go to funny and tell a joke about Sunset Valley, because why not? Finish your omelet. Finish your omelet. Uh, spelling bee aid. Uh oh. It's the school spelling bee, and Julia has made it to the final round. But this time, she's never, ever heard of the word she's supposed to spell. Glancing around the room, Julia sees the class brainiac flash her, her notebook with a word written neatly on it. Should she accept the help or give it the best guess except the help? Okay, so she gained a small performance increase. Cheating does help. Oh, wow, we just got paid. Holy crap. Look, at games do not make money, guys. Games do not make money. Our books are making the crazy amounts of money. Okay, so Cassandra, you have to become good friends. Oh, she's feeling flirty. This is weird. Okay, stop eating. Cassandra, because this isn't going anywhere. You have to really, you have to really share your interests with her. So let's see, uh, share a secret, uh, deep conversation. All these are good things to becoming a friend. Uh, let's try all those. They're really close to being friends too. I don't know if Cassandra works today. She does. Okay, so she could get promoted if they get to friendship level, which I'm really hoping this happens. Get to know. Um, what else? Uh, joke about politicians. Why not? Give her a hug. Uh, inside joke. Because they're kind of becoming friends. It looks like they could become friends. 
Uh, let's discuss interests. Okay, it's a pleasant conversation. We learned that she's mean. Okay, I figured she was mean because she is very difficult to get along with. But if we can have a mean friend, that may be beneficial. I don't know why it would be, but it might be beneficial in the future. If we ever need a friend to kill someone or something, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Enthused about guitar solos. Why not? We gotta share interests. Uh, tell an engaging story. Okay, so she's feeling flirty. Um, oh God, we should be friends by now. You would think we would be friends. Are we friends already? Is this something? Are we friends? Oh, we are friends. Crap. So I'm, you're useless to me right now. Why are you over here? I don't know. <laughs> I think we were friends. Okay, who would be easy to be friends with? Why not Don? He's a pretty simple guy. Let's chat. Let's send him a text. Let's send him another text. Let's send him another text. Send him another text. And, okay, let's do this. So we're going to try to get to know Don enough so he can come over here and hang out. Let's invite to hang out at current lot. Uh, she doesn't work for a few more hours, so we have a little bit of time. She's getting definitely pudgy. Don will be right over. Okay, so since Don's coming over, she does have to change her outfit. Let's get in her everyday clothes. And perfect. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. She is getting pretty big, you guys. She's going to pop probably by tonight or tomorrow. Okay, so let's give a cheerful introduction to Don. I say give a cheerful introduction. There we go. I think we can become friends with Don easily. He's We know he's a workout buff, so it shouldn't be too hard to impress him. Let's see. Uh, share big news. Why not tell him that we're pregnant? Uh, brain is day. He's kind of an easygoing guy. No, we don't want to brain his day twice, though. He's kind of a really easygoing guy, so I don't think this is going to be too difficult. Goof around. Uh, tell an unbelievable story. Let's do all this. Like, as you can see, it's going up pretty quickly. He is he is an easy guy to get along with. He kind of just likes to be a bro and chill. Let's propose this crazy scheme. Joke about politicians. Invite to feel baby. Why not? Why not? I don't know. I, that sounds kind of creepy, but, you know, why not? Okay, let's show off muscles. Okay, that's something he would appreciate. Um, flatter him a little bit. Uh, not a pickup line. Let's go to complain about local youth. No. Uh, discuss fitness techniques. That's something he would definitely enjoy. Oh, he felt the baby. Uh, I should get going. So Allison's leaving. Don, I don't even know if Don works for a living. He literally does, like, just walks around the neighborhood working out all day. Okay, let's get to know him a little bit. Uh, tell an unbelievable story and get to know again. Oh, we're so close, guys. We only need to get about here. Come on, baby. She goes to work in an hour. We can make this happen. He's a romantic. He's non-committal. Okay, so that, that I remember that. He's non-committal. Okay, tell engaging story. Talk about cooking. Um, g discuss latest games and ask about day. Hurry, 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 hurry. You must do these things to get promoted. We need another friend. Oh, her charisma's level five. Come on, Don. Be friends with me. Tell an engaging story. <laughs> right, day. This is her, like, last day of work. Um, enthused about guitar solos. Come on. Boring conversation. Okay, they're friends. They're friends. They're friends. Okay, go. 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 Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. <laughs> awesome. Julia is done with school for the day. A B is not bad. Okay, so, Julia, what do you need? I'm pretty sure Julia needs only mental. Yes. Okay, so she's got to work on her mental, which actually gives her a little bit of fun, too. So that's not a bad deal. Let's check on what Marshall needs aspiration-wise. Uh, all he wants to do is chat with Julia. So we're going to have her get over here, and then I guess he can come over here and chat with Julia. That shouldn't be too hard. Um, does he just want to talk in general to her? Yeah, let's just talk about favorite animals over here. And then he's got to do his homework. She is mental skill level three now, though. Come on. Come on, Marshall. Get over here and talk with Julia. Okay, he got that. Now, what's he want to do? Finish homework. Okay. So, go do your homework, Marshall. What the heck is does it spoil? Clean that up, too. I don't want you doing any of that. Uh, okay, so he's doing his homework. Julia definitely has to do her homework today, too. So, we're going to have her quit playing for now. And then they're both going to have to... Don't Stop chatting with Marshall. You have to get your homework done. Oh, God. She's got to go to the bathroom. Oh, wait. What have I been doing all day? <laughs> I haven't even been checking in on myself. What we got to do is... I know I was working on a book. Yeah, keep on trying. We're going to finish writing that book because we're pretty close to finishing it. We need a little bit more money. Let's check on uh, Marshall and Julia. Uh, Marshall, does he want to do extra credit homework? Yes, he does. He's a brainiac after all. Do your extra credit homework. Then what does he want to do? Make a friend. Okay, that's going to be difficult because there's nobody over here. But it's something we could try to tackle. Uh, play an instrument. 
get to know Cassandra. Well, we can have her play this instrument. Let's have her practice, get her a little aspiration. Uh, homework is complete. Uh, what an achievement. I finished writing my book. And there's her playing instrument. You can stop that for now. Now use the toilet. Then we're going to have her come back here and do a little mental preparation. Perfect. Finish up your instrument, Julia. There you go. Okay. Now Marshall's still finishing his extra credit. I can probably write another book because we're, we're still trying to make as much money as we can. Let's do a uh, fantasy book. Why not? Um, let's go. Oh, God, it's got Lord in it. I was going to use Lord. Okay. Lords. Lords of the game. No, Lords of the graphic. Graphical realm. Realm. <laughs> Lords of the graphical realm. This is a book series about. This is a book series. Wait. This is a book series. Your series <laughs> about the lords of the graphical realm. <laughs> okay, book series about the lords of the graphical realm. And it's a fantasy series, and those tend to sell pretty well. Uh, is he done with his extra credit work? Close. Uh, when he's done, we can have him eat some of our great mac and cheese we made yesterday. Uh, and we can have Julia, when she's done, she should probably eat some mac and cheese too. Now, it is already 7.30, so they have to go to bed in a couple of hours. He did finish his extra credit homework. Julia's still trying to get her mental up so she can get that A grade. This is the last skill point she needs, so I'm looking forward to this. Looks like she's having a good time being a brainiac, though. Look at her. She is just so happy. Okay, let's go check on Marshall. Um, what else does he need? Become energized. Okay, that's easy. Uh, let's replace this and just have him take a brisk shower because... He'll become energized, which is great. So then he can use the toilet to pee like a champion. And then he can probably go to sleep, to be honest. He's always one of the first ones to sleep at night. Are you almost done, Julia? Oh, she's getting so close. I really, really hope that Cassandra gets promoted today. I'm going to have her work hard the rest of the shift because she has been on this career level forever. She's going into career level 7 if she gets promoted. And that's going to be pretty much the highest we've ever been in the entertainer career on any Sim series I've done. So I'm kind of excited to see where this goes. Okay, are we almost done with the fantasy book? We're about 30, no, 25% of the way through it. Oh, this is going to be a good book, though. I hope it sells a ton of copies. Let's Actually, we don't need him to clean this up. We can just throw it away. Okay, go take your shower. Marshall, become energized. And then you can go to sleep. Did that energize him? Yes, it did. $468. She did not get promoted. Superb work. Why did she get promoted? She's got everything. Oh, she needed more hard work. Darn it. Uh, play an instrument. Not started. Okay, so daily task is to play an instrument. So let's just... Oh, wait. Does she even work? She doesn't work tomorrow. But let's uh, strum for fun. Why not? Let's strum for fun. Get her fun level a little bit up. Plus, it's going to improve her guitar skill, which will be a good thing to have anyway, since she is in the musical part of the entertainer career branch. Um, then when she's done strumming, she's a rockin' mommy. Got it? She's a rock No? Okay. <laughs> rockin' mommy. Dude, dude, sounds like a really lame uh, TV show on, like, Nick Nick Jr. <laughs> rockin' mommy. Bam, bam. <laughs> she looks really worn down. Okay, it's probably because she's pregnant, like super pregnant. Let's go with, uh, I have an omelet, and then she can use the toilet. We'll have her take a shower and then go to sleep after she gets a little bit more fun level up. Continue with your fun there, Cassandra. Continue! <laughs> okay, her fun is all the way up. Let's go. Now she's got to get ready for bed because she's got to keep a good sleep schedule. Am I almost done? I'm about to get a new writing skill. Oh, yeah, baby. What are we going to be at? What are we going to be at writing-wise? Oh, my God. Are we going to? Oh, we're going to be at nine. Oh, so close to ten. So close. I'm really excited because we'll be making serious bank. Then we can cash in these two books into the mailbox and we'll have a lot more money coming in. So we finished that book, uh, The Lords of the Graphical Realm. Uh, now let's cash in. Let's sell to a publisher. Uh, we have, oh God, we have three books. Um, let's sell Raising Hope since it's one of our oldest that we've had in there for a while. And then let's sell uh, Keep on Tried. Uh, and then let's sell Lords of the Graphical Realm. So three new books. Going to be making a ton of money starting tomorrow. I have the hiccups now. 
That's horrible. Let's go to open. We're going to eat some uh, more omelet as well. Maybe just take a brisk shower because we've been sitting on the computer all day feeling kind of grimy. Uh, Julia. <laughs> Julia, you didn't go to bed yet? She's just been playing this all day. She's just like ready to pass out. But hey, it's okay, Julia. You are so close. You could become an A student tomorrow. You may have a hard day of school ahead of you because you're not going to have a ton of rest. But hey. It'll be good. It'll be worth it in the long, long run. Okay, so she's going to eat and then go to bed. And then in the morning, we'll have her go to the bathroom, take a shower, and that should be good. Now, in the morning, we will have uh, little Marshall use the toilet, and then he'll eat some uh, mac and cheese, I think. Yeah, why not? Mac and cheese for breakfast sounds pretty good. And then he can watch some TV because he looks pretty bored. We'll watch some Kids Network. How is he up this early? God, we gotta have Marshall go to bed later, cause I, he should not be up this early in the morning. It's it's kind of ridiculous, but that's uh, we'll we'll let it slide. Well, yeah, I guess there's no such thing of, as being up too early. Oh, well, actually, it's it's pretty early. It's almost like going to bed too late. Um, I guess uh, now we won't even have him nap. We'll just force him to stay up later tomorrow, and that should kind of make him want to sleep later the next day, cause he'll be deprived of sleep because he woke up so early. Now, am I asleep yet? Okay, so we're all asleep except Marshall. The whole house is quiet. He is like a, a grandpa. He's a very early riser, <laughs> Marshall is. Oh, my God. Wash your hands before the shower. Oh, wait. He's not even taking a shower because he doesn't need to. Okay, go eat and then watch your kid's television. I don't even know what would be on like Nick Jr. at 4 in the morning. I could only imagine some type of Blue's Clues or old episodes of Dora the Explorer or something of the sort. <laughs> oh, man. That would. I just can't imagine waking up at 3 in the morning. I just, I, I I never have. Oh, there's the mac and cheese. That is a big plate of mac and cheese. You gonna finish all that, Marshall? Are you gonna finish all that? You gonna watch, oh, you're gonna watch TV and eat mac and cheese in the living room? Don't spill, mister. You better not spill. But you guys, I think this is a really good place to end this episode. We got Marshall some of his aspiration points. Julia's gonna be an A student. Cassandra's getting promoted on her next day of work. And next episode, we should be having our new baby. And it's gonna be the final baby ever. But if you guys enjoyed the episode, remember to slap that like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And also, if you watch the whole thing, comment down below. Rock Mama Rock. Because she's a rock star. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Remember, take it easy. Live it squeezy.